Hey everybody, it's Mr. Wester again. It's uh, Tuesday, March 24, and I hope that uh, you're doing well and you're staying safe and staying healthy and remembering all those good things that uh, we've been practicing about uh, making sure that you uh, wash your hands. We'll get to that slide in just a second. Um, just a reminder that uh, they've changed things up just a little bit for the uh, food distribution uh, for lunches. Uh, they distribute food now on Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, Mondays, they'll give you enough food for Monday and Tuesday, and then on Wednesdays, they give you lunches for uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, and also, I uh, added a couple new pictures to our, uh, our slideshow. Uh, remember, keep washing your hands. My hands are still getting real dry. I'm washing as much as I can, um, but I'm also using uh, the, the sanitizer, uh, especially when I've got to go to the store or, uh, or uh, get a Diet Coke from my brother-in-law. Uh, I make sure that I sanitize my hands a lot. And then practicing to cough in my elbow. And um, that's, that's easy to forget to do. So uh, I've been practicing. So uh, cough and sneeze, elbow please. All righty. Um, Ava, Natalie, they sent me some pictures of things they were doing over the weekend. Uh, Ava said that her dog had puppies. So uh, I don't know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is there eight? Eight or nine puppies in there? Um, but anyway, that's a, that's a big dog. I visited that dog last week when I went to Ava's house for a few minutes and, uh, uh, that's a big, big dog. So Ava, Natalie, hope you guys are having a great time. You can keep sending me pictures, uh, things you guys are doing, um, activities, pets. I got to send Ava a video of my bird. I forgot to do that, Ava. Sorry. I'll make sure I get on that. Um, we have some Zoom parties coming up. Uh, my class will do one tomorrow at two o'clock. Uh, Miss Boos's and Mrs. Martin's class. Uh, they're planning one for this week, so just uh, keep your eye open for an email uh, with the links, um, and uh, that information's coming. Um, also, uh, a couple of Kahoot parties are coming. Uh, Mrs. Martin's going to host one on Thursday, so that way I can play, and I'm going to host one on Saturday, uh, so Mrs. Martin and Miss Boos can play, and we'll also invite some teachers and see if uh, some of the special teachers or Mrs. Uh, Morris can can make it too. So. Uh, that should be a whole lot of fun. It worked out really well last week. Thank you so much to you and your parents for, uh, for getting the computer set up and trying it out and working out the bugs on your end. So, uh, that should be a lot of fun this week. Um, keep busy, keep learning. Um, uh, school's going to be out a few more weeks and, uh, we got to keep practicing things, keep working on your writing, keep working on math, keep working on reading, read, 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 read. Uh, this is the same slide I showed you last week. You know, work on some of your Spanish. Send me a video of you speaking in Spanish. That'd be kind of fun to watch. Uh, if you've got some artwork, uh, share some artwork. Show me a picture. Share a picture with me. Send me a picture of a picture that you're working on. Uh, that would be really, really cool. Um, so please, uh, you know, show us what you're doing. Uh, there's also topics 11 and 14 in math you could still be working on. Um, so please uh, use these resources and, uh, and, and keep up on um, your learning. Alrighty. Um, the book that I found uh, was a book by uh, Deborah, Deborah uh, Macero, and it's called In a Jar. And uh, here's the cover, even though uh, it says uh, Raj Ani uh, when you read it backwards uh, in the video. But anyway, it's a neat little book about, uh, about two little uh, rabbit friends, uh, Llewellyn and Evelyn. And, and they put their memories uh, in a jar. And they go outside, and I thought it was such a beautiful day. This would be a great book to do. Uh, they go outside, and they just put items in their jar uh, for memories. And I thought uh, what we're going through now is, is something that we've never gone through, I, I think, ever in the world. Uh, that maybe you might want to have a jar full of memories, things that you've done, things that you've, uh, you, you've, you've seen, things uh, that you could put in the jar uh, to keep as kind of a memory of, of this uh, crazy spring of 2020. Uh, if you don't have a jar, uh, down below in the uh, links um, on the YouTube page, uh, you can get to uh, my uh, Google Doc, and I have a, uh, a jar there that I printed off for you that you could uh, draw pictures in or you could write words in or things like that uh, for your keeping or, again, share with me so I can share it out with everybody else. Um, but I did. I read this book out loud, and um, I'm going to see if this is going to work. So uh, enjoy Mr. Wester's voice uh, reading uh, the book in a jar. In a Jar by Deborah Marcero. Llewellyn was a collector. He collected things in jars. 
When he held the jar and peered inside, Llewellyn remembered all the wonderful things he had seen and done. He collected small, ordinary things, like buttercups, feathers, and heart-shaped stones. One night, the sunset painted the sky the color of tart cherry syrup. Llewellyn ventured down to the shore with as many jars as he could carry. A little girl named Evelyn was there, too. Llewellyn scooped that cherry light into his jars, and when he was done, he gave one to Evelyn. Evelyn took the jar home, and to her surprise, it glowed through the night with the memory of that sunset. From then on, Llewellyn and Evelyn collected things together. They collected things hard to hold, like rainbows, the sound of the ocean, and the wind just before snow falls. They collected things you might not think would even fit in a jar, but somehow they did. They collected the wonders of winter. The newness of spring. And the long days and shadows of summer. Over time, their jars filled the walls of Llewellyn's home. But one day, Evelyn had sad news. Her family was moving to a new town. Too soon, it was time to say goodbye. With Evelyn gone, Llewellyn's heart felt like an empty, like an empty jar. One night, Llewellyn lay awake. Falling stars glittered against the dark sky. He wondered if Evelyn could see them too. That gave him an idea. Llewellyn tiptoed out into the moonless night and collected the meteor shower in a jar. The next day, he prepared a package. When the box arrived and Evelyn opened the jar, the stars in the night fell, night sky fell around her. Evelyn just knew what to do. She collected the sounds, the crowds, and the bright night lights of her new home and sent them all to Llewellyn. And so, when the golden leaves of autumn began to fall once again, Llewellyn set out to collect a jar full for Evelyn. A little boy named Max was there, too. Luckily, Llewellyn had brought an extra jar. The end. Hey, not bad, huh? Hope you liked it. Um, anyway, so if you, uh, if you have a jar and you want to put some memories inside it, I'd love to see what you're putting inside your jar or go ahead and, uh, download or, uh, get to the, uh, uh, Google doc that, uh, the link is down below and you could draw pictures in that if you want or write words in that if you would like. Um, and, uh, please share that with me again. I like to see what you guys are doing. Um, Hey, that's about all I got this time. Um, thank you for all the suggestions. Um, I'm looking into uh, some games we could play, uh, but we got uh, download apps. Still working on some of those things. Maybe we can talk to you more about that on Thursday. Um, but otherwise, uh, we'll see you in Kahoot. We'll see you in Zoom. And uh, golly, I'm up to like uh, 23 subscribers now. So anyway, stay cool, Barwood. Love you. Miss you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.